Good morning, everybody. Thank God it's Friday. Uh, I'm usually moving slow at this time of the morning on a Friday, but I was excited to, to come up and uh, show our listing here on Mont St. Michael's today. And we've got the pool up and going. Hey, Lacey. And I just thought I would uh, share the views on this lovely Friday morning. The weather is awesome. Uh, this place is awesome. Check out this pool. A nice in-ground pool. It's heated. Got an automatic cover, diving board, and check out this little pool house. Pretty sweet here. I'm gonna get it opened up. Part of my duties when I'm showing this house is to get here and get it ready. Got a full bath with a shower in the pool house. No need to go inside and make a mess, right? Uh, we also got a full kitchen. Nice fridge, sink, granite in the pool house, of course. Um, I'm tempted to jump in here. It looks, it's looking so good. But uh, got a mechanical room, six over six acres. Uh, this is up in the woods of Lafayette on Mont Saint Michaels. It's about eleven thousand square feet. Uh, I'm just going to do a, a little walkthrough with you here before my buyers arrive. I've got to get the garage opened up, but check out this floor. This is a real high grade epoxy floor. There's actually three years of use on this floor already. And uh, I'm gonna open the door here so you can see it. But even after three years, uh, this floor has held up really well. I think just the flooring and epoxy for this garage was like 20 grand to have it put down. So. This house is just super cool. Uh, it's huge. Got a nice courtyard, gated. Outside your three car garage, I'll show you. Got brand new uh, garage doors on it. Got the AC running this morning. I'm gonna take you inside, show you a little bit around the uh, kitchen and the uh, owner suite, it's pretty cool. So just come in from the garage. A nice one of the laundry rooms right off the garage here. And then we've got the uh, dining room off the kitchen. Got a built-in bench. Got an awesome open floor plan here around the kitchen. Great for gatherings. Let me show you this pantry. This is my kind of pantry coming from a guy that weighs 260 pounds. Check this out. Think you could store some stuff in there, Vicky? How you doing, Chris Albros? Good to see you this morning. All uh, Thermador appliances, very high end. This is actually a Turkish stone flown in from Turkey. It's got a saddle leather finish on it. Take you in here and show you the little office. You got one office here on the left side of the house, built-ins. Nice butler's pantry just off the kitchen. Then you lead into a gorgeous dining area for your formal dining. One of the things that I love the most uh, is this mahogany office or library. Uh, you just don't see this mahogany wood much anymore. My camera probably don't show it very well, but it's beautiful. I believe these floors are African walnut, so they're very exotic as well. Let me take you into the owner's suite. You'll notice there's just built-ins, shelving and storage everywhere you look. Hey Lisa, hey Bill. Uh, I hear you Bill, that pantry is one of my favorite things. Um, gorgeous ceilings, got a view of the pool from your owner's suite. Come in, check out this copper tub, all the stonework, the woodwork, Photos just don't do this place justice. Although Don Lehman did a really good job of doing the exterior twilight photos for, uh, photos for me last weekend. Walnut, vanities. Um, Chris Albert, I'll check out this closet. There's one of them in the owner's suite, right? 
And then you've got your shower, another vanity, got your john. And then here's the second closet in the owner's suite. Plenty of built-ins. Got your shoe rack. Let's say this is her closet. And her closet, right? Us guys, we get something in the basement. So I'm going a little bit quick. I got a showing coming, so I just kind of wanted to show you around a little bit. Uh, some of the cool features of this house. Everything's on Nest. Um, Everything is basically controlled from your phone, anywhere from exterior lighting, uh, irrigation, um, you name it. A lot of upgrades you just don't see walking through it. But uh, it's got two stairways going up. I'll go ahead and take you and, and show you. Um, what these uh, suites look like. So basically every bedroom in this house has its own full bath. So here's one of them upstairs. What's up, Alex? So a nice size bedroom, right? For kids or guests. And you walk in and you got another big closet with shelving and such. And then a full bathroom off this bedroom. And every bedroom's just like it. Really nice size, nice baths. And we'll go over and here's another one. Another nice bedroom. Every bedroom's got uh, remote blinds and um, great views from each bedroom. There again, you got a, another full bath off this bedroom. Plenty of closet space, nice towel shower. And again, all built in in the closets, shelving, little day bed there in the closet. It just goes on and on and on. It takes me probably 30, 35 minutes to get all the lights on in this place, get the pool up and going. Again, we got another bedroom overlooking the pool. This is kind of one of my favorites. Built ins in the bedroom. Again, big closet with plenty of built ins. And then a full bath. Now, I would have to hire somebody to uh, keep the place cleaned up. But, you know, if I can afford this house, I think I can afford that, that person. So, not a big deal. All right, we're going to go back out and look at some more. So, this is your upstairs laundry. Uh, washer and dryer stay. More walnut cabinets. Nice granite tops in your laundry. Again, more closet right off the laundry. And it wraps all the way around here. Just a little more space. Check out this bedroom. Of course, we're gonna go into the bath first. Look at those nice walnut cabinets. And these are guest bedrooms, guys. This ain't, this ain't the owner's suite. Dual vanities in this bath as well. Nice custom tops. Check out this room. Is that enough room for you, Morgan? Got foosball, a little air hockey. Again, views of the pool from this bedroom. And uh, views of the, the woods. This house is a little over, it's between 10 and 11,000 square foot, sits on six acres. Um, in the woods of Lafayette, which he just is unheard of. Most of the lots out here are a half acre. So you got all the amenities of the clubhouse and such, but you're up here kind of hid away on your own little piece of paradise. And it's just super, super nice place. Uh, I think we're going to have it sold here soon. We got several interested parties and uh, people that's Got actually an offer in the other day on it, we're considering, and got more showings today and some more Sunday. So uh, it's pretty exciting the times we're in in real estate right now. Things are selling at all price ranges. I bet I've uh, showed this place two to three times a week. Uh, when I first listed, I figured, you know, we might get one or two showings a month. 
Um, but money's out there. It's moving. People are buying. Uh, there's a lot more confidence in real estate than there is anything right now. So I'm going to walk you down to the basement. Hope I don't lose service. But it's got its own uh, built-in bar, kitchen, d uh, dishwasher, fridge, all the things you would expect. Got a theater room with epoxy floor. Got another bathroom. And then you got a workout room because everybody needs one of those. I know I do. You got the mirrors. I think that's the skinny mirror, right? Makes you look a lot skinnier. I'll jump in front of it, it'll probably break. And then you got two more uh, bedrooms here in the basement on the walkout, and they share a Jack and Jill bath, big closets. Not bad, not bad for some guests, right? I'm gonna walk out the basement here, this bedroom, another nice closet. Um, I might need to sell some of this furniture soon if anybody's needing some nice sleigh beds and hardwood furniture. Uh, if the new buyers don't want it, I've got to get rid of it. So hit me up if you need some nice furniture. So there's more storage, another fridge. And uh, check out the ceilings in this mechanical room. This house was built to commercial grade. I believe these ceilings are about 14 foot. Got its own fire suppression system that you can see over in the corner. So it's got a sprinkler system in it if needed. Uh, the water and the gas line brought to this house was commercial grade. Uh, Libs built this house, so it's not just a uh, just a traditional construction company or uh, um, residential builder, I should say. This was actually a commercial grade build by a commercial builder. So the walls, the flooring systems, everything are way over the top on this place. But uh, I'm back upstairs now and out of breath. My people should be here any minute. I'll take you and just walk out the front door here. Speaking of the front door, check that out. Isn't that pretty? So we got this listed at $1.2 million. Full security system. I mean, they just really didn't uh, miss a beat with this house. No money was spared. It just went through a half a million dollar remodel about three years ago. So everything's really good shape. Landscaping just was redone, getting ready to reseal the uh, driveway on Tuesday. But let me back away here and I'll give you a little front view of this place. And me being from the country, having six acres in the woods of Lafayette, so close to everything means a lot. So it's very private. Don't really have any neighbors. So there it is from the uh, um, the outside. Katrina, I believe it's it's about between 10 and 11,000 square foot. I don't have the paper in front of me. But check it out. Um, creek down below. You can almost see it down there. Sorry, I had to block a phone call. But uh, just a lot I like about this house. Just love all the little roofing character, the lightning rods. I mean, just a lot of nice stuff on this home super cool if you're looking for something like this give me a call 812-987-4048 i got a feeling it's going to be gone by monday but uh, i sure enjoyed uh working with these guys and helping them sell their home so hope you all have a great weekend appreciate all y'all support watching there's about 20 to 25 of you on here Really appreciate that. I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend. And if you need something, just give me a call.